There's a natural tendency to be worried about something you cannot taste, feel, or see. And concern is growing from some over Wi-Fi in schools. Dr. Daniel Kruski is the scientific director of the McLaughlin Center for Population Health Risk Assessment, and he says some may be jumping to conclusions. I'm not sure that we've done everything we can to rule out other possibilities of the types of symptoms that we see. Have we looked at indoor air quality? Um, have we looked at uh, other factors that, that could influence uh, children's health? And what a scientist wants is, is a, a carefully controlled scientific study to make sure that we haven't ruled out all, all, our, all other possibilities. According to the research, the energy coming from Wi-Fi technology is so low it doesn't cause cell damage. The radio frequency fields associated with Wi-Fi devices are very similar to the uh, fields that we use to communicate with um, mobile phones, but they're quite different from other sources of radiation such as X-rays. Uh, X-rays are much stronger, uh, have the uh, energy to break chemical bonds, and, are hence, and hence are of much greater concern from the public health point of view. Radio frequency fields, on the other hand, are uh, very weak energy, do not, do not have the ability to damage uh, cellular DNA, and hence are of much less concern from the point of view of population health. While there aren't many studies on the effects of Wi-Fi specific to children, safe exposure limits set by Health Canada through Safety Code 6 do apply to everyone. If you go back historically and look at how the standards and guidelines, SC6, uh, how they evolved, uh, it was taken into account the size of the individual. Uh, there were models done for children, for fetuses, for fetuses embedded in the womb. That has been taken into account. It has been ignored. Safety Code 6 is, is, is an excellent situation in Canada where, where um, government, Health Canada, has, has got the Royal Society reviewing the literature on, a, on, a, on a, every three or four years, and Safety Code 6 looks at what recommendations are coming from the research. However, some parents still worry about the few isolated studies that link wireless technology to their kids' symptoms. But before blaming Wi-Fi, Dr. Kruski says it's important to get the big picture. Of the literally thousands of papers that have been written on this topic, very few have suggested uh, uh, health concerns. And uh, all of that information needs to be taken into account when reaching a, an overall conclusion. So is Wi-Fi safe? It's established as a, a safe technology. It does not exceed the standards and guidelines that are currently in place. And basically, Canada's SC6, uh, which corresponds to the standards and guidelines across uh, the rest of the Western world. Parents can also take solace in knowing that Health Canada conducts and reviews research on Wi-Fi on an ongoing basis. Also, all Wi-Fi equipment sold in Canada must meet Health Canada's safety guidelines. And finally, based on current science, Canadians can be assured that Wi-Fi is safe. More information on Wi-Fi safety and radio frequency exposure guidelines can be found on Health Canada's website at healthcanada.gc.ca.